Referees versus Fighters Being a referee in a boxing ring is not as easy as it looks. It's not just about getting a good look at what's going on within the match, but also keeping a safe distance from the fighters. The refs have to deal with large, scary, and sometimes aggressive fighters who don't like being told they are the loser. But it's not always about aggression. Sometimes it's more about confusion. It's a tough and dangerous job. In this video, we are going to take a look at a few clips of referees getting punched in the world of fighting. Before we get into our list, remember to give us a thumbs up and a quick click on our subscribe button to get more videos like this one and support Brutal TV. Thanks! But for now, let's get back to referees versus fighters. Number 1 this first clip shows a bit of a misunderstanding between the Indonesian fighter in the blue shorts and the referee. Throughout the fight, it's pretty clear that the Iranian fighter, Navid Eftakari, has the upper hand and is winning. He takes a swing and the Indonesian is down. The referee signals that it is a no foul. Unfortunately, the Indonesian thinks the referee is actually waving off the fight. In his anger, up jumps the Indonesian fighter and lands several punches on this tough referee. This was one angry fighter who got disqualified. Maybe that will make him think twice in the future. Number 2 Clip number 2 is more amusing than angry. This fight between two young kickboxers, Marty Cox and Marcus Ridley, ends somewhat abruptly. A very short time after the bell is rung to start the match, both guys come into the center of the ring ready and excited to take on their opponent. Seconds later, Marcus Ridley takes a shot at Marty Cox's head, knocking him backwards. He staggers and falls to the mat, gets back up, and proceeds to start punching the referee around the head. This poor guy is so dazed that he has no idea who he is fighting with, assuming it is his opponent. Luckily, this champ of a referee realizes what's happening, stops the match, and finds it a little amusing himself. Good thing this ref is built bigger than the fighters. Number 3 This next clip shows the 1990 fight between Modest Napuni and Michael Armstrong. As we can see, Napuni is giving it everything he has got with the full-on barrage of punches to Armstrong's head and with the desired effect. Armstrong goes down, gets up, staggers, his legs give away, and he is down again. The referee starts the count, gets to nine, and up jumps Armstrong. Next thing we know, Armstrong is throwing punches at the referee, ignoring the fact that the ref is signaling the end of the fight. This guy genuinely believes he is still fighting his opponent. In all honesty, it doesn't seem like he knows where he is and is finally dragged away by his team. It goes without saying, Napuni is declared the winner. Number 4 In clip number 4, we take a trip to the 1988 Summer Olympics in Seoul, Korea to witness this bantamweight bout between Byon Jong Tu of South Korea and Alexander Ristov of Bulgaria. Not one of the most respectful of fights we have ever seen, with Bion repeatedly fighting dirty and being penalized by the New Zealand referee, Keith Walker, for headbutting. At the end of the fight, Ristoff was declared the winner. That's when the fighting really started by way of South Korean boxing officials and coaches. They immediately stormed the ring and headed straight for the poor referee attacking him with not only punches, but kicks, bottles, and even chairs. The petrified referee was lucky to escape any serious injury and immediately made his way to the airport to return to the safety of New Zealand. As for Beyond, he sat in the ring for a good hour after the match, sulking. Maybe it will teach him to fight a fair fight and obey the rules next time, young man. Number 5 Clip number 5 takes us to a fight between heavyweight champion Mike Tyson and Lou Savarese, and refereeing the fight is John Coyle. The fight begins, and within a few short seconds, Tyson has swung a punch hard enough to bring Savarese down. Dazed, he manages to bring himself back onto his feet, and the fight continues. Tyson once again comes in all guns blazing, 
punch after punch, knocking Savarese around the ring. It doesn't take long for the referee to decide enough is enough and tries to stop the match. But Tyson is oblivious and punches the referee out of his way, determined to keep the fight going. Eventually, Tyson realizes the referee has had the final say, and much to Savarez and the crowd's annoyance, you can't argue with the referee. Maybe Tyson thought he was doing a bit of street fighting and forgot there was a referee there. Number 6 This next clip takes us back in time to September 2012 and a fight between British veteran Michael Sprott and Kazakhstan's Edmund Gerber. Gerber hit the 37-year-old with a heavy right, which sent him crashing to the canvas, even though Sprott had been on top of the fight. Referee Gerard Siegel asked the fighter if he could carry on after Sprott made it to his feet at the count of four, and though he indicated he would at the count of eight, Siegel decided to end the contest. Sprott was enraged and shouted at the official, pushed him, and eventually forced the Swiss referee to bounce off the ropes, ending up on the canvas. Good job the ringside observers rushed the ring to prevent it from escalating any further. Arguably, the referee made a mistake in calling the fight to an end too soon, but Sprott made a bigger mistake with his actions and ended up with a three-month ban. Number 7 in this next clip, we go to a New Year's Day combat sports event in Florida. Sluggers Victor Faust and Lago Kaladze were by no means competing in the main event, but they may have stolen the show as they combined to throw 110 shots in little more than a round of fighting. They produced five knockdowns with Faust credited with three and Kaladze two. As the referee waved the contest off in round two, Kaladze appeared to protest the decision and threw a fist at the man in the middle, Samuel Burgos. The fighter even seemed to say, what's wrong with you, man? The punch appeared to ricochet off Burgos's arm, and it didn't appear to do too much damage, as he was seen laughing after the bout. The foul didn't affect the result, as Faust had already won the fight. Number 8 now for a quick clip, but definitely the kindest one. You have to feel sorry for this fighter and the slightly misguided punch. It was one heck of a punch, and we are sure it would have done some damage to this fighter's opponent, but instead ends up in the face of the referee and almost knocks him off his feet. In fact, the rough savior was the guy who punched him. Number 9 we have to complete our clips with what has to be the most hilarious one. Blind tie boxing is something you just can't imagine. But if you are the referee, then you really should make sure you are well out of the firing line. Unlike the referee in this clip. He really wasn't expecting that, was he? So that's it for our video clips. Which was your favorite? Please let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Brutal TV for more top fighting videos just like this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.